Welcome back to Healthcare Sucks, and here we are with the bowls, part three of our video tonight. Hope you enjoyed them. I hope uh, you got some stuff out of them. Out of everything I've watched, I enjoyed this series of exp explanation over uh, the bulls, the seals, and the trumpets. Not in that order, um, but they're pretty plain and easy to understand. With that, we're going to jump right into it. If you want to say a hello or goodbye or a shirt or a hat, don't even worry about it for now, guys. Let's get through this time. I put that up there so we can uh, have a disclaimer. We use the Fair Use Act. With that, I love you. Here we go. The pouring of the first bowl, affliction upon those with the mark of the beast. As the angel pours the first bowl upon the lamb, the results are unsightly and festering sores on the body of those who worship and receive the mark of the beast. The pouring of the second bowl, the seas turn to blood. The second bowl lands directly in the seas. The waters turn into blood with the stench of death, killing all of the living animals within it. The pouring of the third bowl, the rivers and springs turn to blood. The third bowl is directed to the rivers and springs of water, turning them to blood. The voice of the angel proclaims, You are just in these judgments, O Holy One, you who are and who were. For they have shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets, and you have given them blood to drink as they deserve, which received a confirming response from the altar. Yes, Lord God Almighty, true and just are your judgments. The pouring of the fourth bowl. The sun burns with scorching heat. The fourth bowl is poured down onto the sun, allowing it to blaze fiercely, scorching people with fire. Their bodies become parched and dehydrated, yet they curse the name of God rather than acknowledging their sins and coming to repentance. The pouring of the fifth bowl. Affliction to the beast and its government. The fifth bowl flows over the throne of the beast, submerging the entire kingdom into darkness. The people anguish in their distress and continue cursing God because of their troubles and afflictions, refusing to come to repentance before the Lord. The pouring of the sixth bowl. The Euphrates River dries up in preparation for Armageddon. The sixth bowl is poured directly into the Euphrates River, causing it to dry up completely. Demonic spirits flow out of the mouths of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. These spirits are on a mission, performing signs and gathering kings and armies from around the world at Armageddon for the great battle on the day of the Lord. The pouring of the seventh bowl. The earth is completely shaken. The seventh bowl is poured into the air, and a loud voice comes from the throne in the temple saying, It is done. Flashes of lightning, rumbling thunder, and an earthquake greater than any earthquake of all time devastate the earth, delivering a cup filled with the fury of God's wrath to Babylon tearing the great city into three parts. Hundred-pound hailstones fall from the skies. Islands and mountains are completely washed away and destroyed, bringing complete ruin to the people, the cities, and the nations. Yet the people continue to curse God for the great devastation upon the land. In closing, while some of the judgments among the trumpets and the bulls reflect similarities, the judgments increase in severity as they progress. The seals introduce us to what will take place in the future, the trumpets bring judgment into action, and the bulls complete the outpouring of the wrath of God. The plagues of the trumpet and the bulls provide an opportunity for sinners to come to repentance. The timeline has been set in place by God, and he has forewarned us about these judgments before they come so that we could avoid having to face them. As a final closing statement, I would like to quote the book Revelation and Daniel, Faith in Action series. God has put many roadblocks on the way to hell. Sinners must get past praying mothers and fathers they must go around churches. They must ignore the testimonies of those who love Jesus. They must refuse to look up to the one who sends every good gift. And they must refuse to repent when God allows them to taste the judgments of hell. For those who refuse every effort that God makes to save them, only one thing remains. Those who smash through every roadblock will one day come to the lake of fire at the end of the road. Despite the many forewarnings regarding the judgments and the wrath of God throughout the book of Revelation, God continuously reminds his people to look up into the future, to the final victory that he has prepared for all those who overcome, to all who repent, and to all who call upon the name of the Lord for salvation. Amen. And with that, I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, Kelly Martinez. Kelly Martinez. Go check her out. Tell her uh, Healthcare Sucks sent you over there. Believe it or not, 
That is an excellent video. You can tell me whether you think so or not. Um, she only has like 600 followers, guys. And she does that kind of work. I mean, when you go over there, give her some inspiration and tell her, you know, let's do some more. Now's the time. I mean, uh, again, you can go out there and you can watch seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bulls. It's all over the internet. But I don't think you're going to find a better explanation in that short of time in minutes. There's other ones that explain it and stretch it out for an hour. And not to say they're not good, too. It's not me to judge. Um, and with all that, again, as I say, I'm here to just Hopefully help you guys and let's get through these times. The reason I threw these at you tonight. If, if you are of this belief in this religion. It refreshes. If you're not. It gives you a chance to check out. Something else. And. If you listen to what was said. Especially at the end. Even if you said no, 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 no. You can say yes. And. It forgives all and welcomes you in with open arms, guys. I uh, have ran away from it for a long time as far as there was a time when I was close to becoming ordained and becoming a preacher in my life. I chose other paths. One of them was to have a family twice. And the other one was because of some of my work and other jobs and other things I did. But, you know, he doesn't give up on you. He never gave up on me. And he's always been there for me. And uh, I think he brought me back into this to help you guys and help everybody. Um, I hope that's what I'm doing. I do. And uh, I don't really have to say I hope, I guess, because I know I am. I know in my heart. I know the guidance. And I know already... That many of you, Team 99 and all others who are watching, we're going to make this. And just by the videos I've done, if I've even helped you to go get a little bit of food and TP, you're doing better than you would have been. So we're doing great. And uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me share these things with you. And we use the Fair Use Act. And of course everything's fiction. But it's not. And uh, please tune in for the next series of videos. I'll be on it. I talked to you about a lot of things that I'm, gonna, I'm planning to do. And I do plan to follow through on them. If nothing else, if you go way, 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 way back, you'll see where I was at the beginning and where I am now as far as this YouTube name and, the, and this part of my life sharing and getting us through what could have would have happened and what did happen and what we're living with today so god bless you all may you all get through this and be safe your families always share subscribe that's all i ask we don't ask for no money here just your hats and your shirts no <laughs> i'm joking man but i would wear them damn it i would God bless you. Good night. And healthcare sucks.